Hello. In this part, we're going to look at what we call a gapped text. A gapped text is a text where some parts, they might be sentences or parts of sentences, have been removed. And you have to put them back in again to the text to create a complete text. This type of task tests your ability to understand the structure of a text and how the ideas and events are developed. There is always one extra sentence that doesn't fit anywhere. This information will be in the instructions for doing the task. Now let's look at some strategies for doing this type of task. As with the multiple choice task, the first thing you should do is read the text and any headings or subheadings that go with it. There is a difference though, because we're going to think about the main idea of each individual paragraph rather than just the general topic of the complete te text. The next step is to, to read the list of sentences or phrases. In the sentences, there will be clues which will help you decide where the sentences go. Underline any names of people, places, etc. and any other reference words such as this, there or it, which might refer, refer back to something in the previous sentence or sentences. Other clues might be connectors, for example, however, to introduce an idea which contrasts with the previous one, or in addition, to introduce more reasons or examples, etc. It's a good idea to underline them to help you focus. Now look carefully at the ideas and words that come before and after each gap to help you choose the sentences that fit. Again, these clues might be reference words or they, or they may be in the grammar, the vocabulary or in the punctuation. Look for similar or contrasting ideas in the list of sentences or phrases too. This can also help. When you have finished, read the complete text does it make sense? So to practice, we're going to look at the first gap or space in the text. In this case, zero. Read the paragraph. What is it about? Now look at the list of sentences A to J. Is it obvious which one fits in the space? Read the list of sentences and look for and underline any words you think might be clues. Do you remember we said that reference words words that refer back to the previous part of the text and also names of people and places etc are all useful clues. Have you underlined the same words as me? There aren't many obvious clues in this example, but they might be useful. Now look, let's look carefully at what comes before the gap. In this case, it's, the, it's at the end of the paragraph, so we don't need to look at what comes after it. Are there any clues to help? Remember that they may be in the grammar, the vocabulary, or in the punctuation. So what did you underline? I've underlined the first part of the paragraph, which tells me when. Also, temple, which is a place. And the semicolon in the punctuation, which suggests that there's a very close relationship between this idea and the one that follows. It also tells me that the gap is not a complete sentence. 
Now look at the list of sentences and phrases. Can you see any similar or contrasting ideas? Choose the one that you think fits best in the gap. Did you choose C? That's the correct answer. Remember to read the complete text when you have finished to make sure that it makes sense. Thank you.